Hello. Hello. My name is Favor. I'm Robert. Welcome to our channel. Today we are boarding the Carnival Breeze. Today is Saturday the 7th of August and we are going to sail to Progresso and Cozumel. It's a five-day cruise and in Progresso we are doing a Mayan tour and a cave snorkel and a cenote snorkel all the things and in Cozumel we are going to go shopping and enjoy the port um, the last couple of vlogs we've been to Nachi Kokum we've been to um, a new beach club that Carnival is offering and this time Islands Beach Club Islands Beach Club and I will link all of that you'll see it scrolling through right up here um, I will link all of that. I'm going to also link it in the description box down below. So this time in Cozumel, we are just going to explore the port. We get a lot of questions about shopping in Cozumel. We get a lot of questions about where I get my beautiful glassware and pottery. So we're going to take you through the port and sh shop at a few of our favorite spots and point out the things that we like to pick up when we are in Mexico. So that's what's there. Now, if you really wanna see some adventure in Mexico, up there, I've linked it, all the different things that we have done in Cozumel when we have visited. And we have been a number of times. Yes, we have. There is no shortage of fun things to do in Mexico, in Cozumel. All right, so we are headed to the port now. We are parking with um, Galveston Park and Cruise. I will leave all the information, the cost of this cruise, and this is not sponsored, we paid for all of this. We were given nothing, gifted nothing, none of that. We paid 100% miles, continue straight. We paid 100% for this cruise. So, I will leave all of that information down in the description box. What we paid for the cruise, what our excursion costs, exactly the, their exact names, all of the information you could possibly need will be down in the description box. Throughout this cruise vlog series, if you have a question about something I'm wearing, our water shoes, any of the gear that we take into port with us, all of that is linked down in the description box. A lot of it is linked in our Amazon store. I get a lot of questions about our water shoes, our water pouches, my sunglasses, sunscreen, all of it. It is down in the description box in every video I ever post. So you can find it all there as well as anything else I may mention. All right, now to introduce us one more time, I'm Favor, this is my husband Robert. We are a vlogging channel. Now that just means we vlog. We vlog on the cruise ships, we vlog at home, we vlog in our camper. We just vlog. And if that's something that interests you, I invite you to subscribe and stick around. Okay, we have parked. They do have a little shuttle service if you need it. You see the little golf cart up there uh, to take you around to the terminal. We go right up there to the street, take a left, cross over, and the terminal is right there. I did have a suggestion from another subscriber who suggested you pull through and drop off your luggage at check-in and then come and park. That is a really good idea. We do not do that only because the traffic is so heavy at the port. So we just typically park and drag it around. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Have a great day. We're going to come down to the Terminal 2 for the breeze. 
we will drop off our luggage with the porter and tip him as well or her and then we will go into the embarkation process. Three. Yes. I can't put you on the wrong boat. <laughs> All right, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Okay, I have timestamps on the screen so you know how long each process will take. Shouldn't take too long. All right, notice the timestamp. Didn't take long. We can go right on to boarding the ship after there's another check-in process. Um, I believe there was on the Vista. So, and then we can get right on the ship. Everybody's boarding the second check-in and then uh, up onto the ship. Be right back. That took like four seconds. Here we go. Going up the elevator, going through the little waiting area and getting on the ship. See you upstairs. Hello. Hi. Look, nobody in here. They're all on the ship. Now we're about to enter the gangway. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Here we go. There she is. Ooh. Some diesel smell in here, exhaust. Hey. Oh, that's loud. Woohoo! A few more steps. On the ship. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yay! Hello! We're down. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Deck two, down. Wow, it's been so long. Hello, Carnival Breeze. I almost said magic. Hello. Hello. Going up. Hello. Oh, we're going down. <laughs> down. Yes, follow me. All righty. Deck two. Deck two. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. you too. All right, we are in cabin two three three zero. There it is. Hi, we're just gonna put our luggage on the bed. Oh yeah. Okay. Here's our room. Little sneak peek. Also. Little sneak peek. There it is. Okay, hang on. We'll be right back. We have confirmed with our room steward. He knows everything's there. Whoops. Where's up? Up is right here. Yeah, we can go up. Okay. Hello. Okay. So let's go up. We're going to go grab some lunch. We do not post ship tours. Um, there's plenty of tours of this ship somewhere online. Uh, so what we're going to do right, what we'll do is we'll just show you the ship as we go along. So right now we are going to head over to wherever Guy's Burger is, wherever Blue Iguana is, because we skip breakfast. And we're going to indulge in some yummy deliciousness. Heavy breathing. Took the stairs from two to nine, two to ten. Woo! All right, mask can come off outside. Guys, burger. Okay. Mm, lunch, lunch, lunch. So they are making me a gluten-free bun, and they'll bring my burger from the back, as well as the fries and everything like that. Okay, hey, here is my guy's burger, gluten-free. This is the gluten-free bun. And then there's Robert's blue iguana. What did you get, honey? Uh, beef, lettuce, and cheese. And yummy, salsa. yummy. I'm gonna try that tomorrow. And of course, I have lettuce and mayonnaise. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, he said this was a pre-made bun. That's a little different, so we'll have to see. I'm gonna try it. I'll let you know. There's the confetti cake. Oh, it looks delicious. So what it is is cake, cheesecake, icing, sprinkles, deliciousness. Of course, I'm gluten-free, so I can't eat that, but Robert tells me it is delicious. Carnival did not come out with this cake until after I had to give up gluten. In case you're new, I have a gluten allergy that acts more like an intolerance. It's a teeny tiny allergy with a big old punch. So I have to eat gluten-free. I typically eat grain-free at home, completely grain-free. On the ships, 
I indulge a little bit in gluten-free grains and uh, stray a little bit from my diet and have a little bit of fun. Always gluten-free though. We're gonna take a quick distant peek at the buffet, the boarding day buffet from a distance. We have salad and meats, Italian meats, and some chopped up vegetables, more salad toppings. There we go. We have pasta primavera, a seafood and vegetable, a stir fry type thing, polio romana, Tuscan beef. There we go. And classic minestrone soup. Oh, yum. There you go. Take one again. This is the best spot. Oh, yummy. There's the confetti cake right there. Funfetti cheesecake. Yummy. Thank you. Thank you. And then it's the same on this side. Mongolian Walk is open today. Hello. And this is where I will go when I need to discuss my food allergies in the buffet. And then here is Mongolian Walk. Excellent. How we are being responsible and we are going to our muster station. It's not technically an e-muster, but it is a muster where you go in person, you check in, they'll scan you, um, and everybody in the cabin has to go. They will scan you in and you will be checked off as having done your muster and they will show you a brief muster drill. So it's quick, simple, easy, painless, much, much better than all previous versions of muster. You just have to go to your muster station. All right, here is our muster station, B3 midship. And I will go and check in. I don't see anybody here, but I'm sure you check in in here. Hmm, up, where? On the other side, the, the big green sign. Mm. Oh, there it is. Yep. Have a seat there. My colleague will show you there. Okay. Thank you. You can. You want to record me? Hello. Hello. How are you? Fantastic. Welcome <laughs> aboard, guys. My Thank name is you. Vicky. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Vicky. <laughs> I'm fantastic. Welcome, guys. Welcome on board. Have a seat. All right. So it's not the same as it was on Vista. I think we have to sit and wait a little while. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the beautiful Carnival Breeze. Yay! Yay! My name is Vicky, and I'm your happy ambassador. Everyone say, hey, Vicky. Hey, Vicky. I'm here to demonstrate this gorgeous, beautiful, limited edition life jacket. Now, how you going to place it? First, step number one, place your overhead like this. Then, step number two, pass this strap around your waist and buckle it up. Adjust the snack tag. Buckle number two. Perfect. Gentlemen, you need to be careful with this bag. We have one more strap over here, which you have to pass between your legs. Give yourself a big round of applause. Yay! Yes, sir. You have to come we have come out up there. We're going to sanitize our hands. So as a rule of thumb in all of our cruise vlogs, at the very beginning, I will put the day's planner. I will also put that day's breakfast. And if we are not eating in the dining room, that day's dinner menu. Always, every single day. And when you, we are walking along the ship, right next to my head, on one side or the other, you will see a deck plan of what deck we are on. Here is the atrium. Oh, it's been so long, Breeze. Boarding day guest services is usually pretty busy, but that doesn't look too bad. So we're gonna head out to the upper decks outside and just sort of look around. But you can see this ship is not busy. It's very empty. Excuse me, we are now on deck 10. We went straight up, oh gosh, if you look down, there is the atrium and the elevator we just got off of. That's awesome. It is awesome, isn't it? You seem to be like half wall so you can lean over. No, Robert. Oh, and then, right here. Yes, and this will take us straight out to the pool deck. Oh, yes, there you go, Robert. I, y'all. Now you can hold the camera out way up there. Uh huh. Gives me the heebie jeebies to do that. Oh, my goodness. Woo! All right, let's go outside. All right, mask coming off. All right, we got to find the funnel and get a picture of the, with the funnel. Nobody is on this ship, you guys. Waterworks. Woo. 
Big water slide there. I don't know if Favor's gonna be riding those. Don't know about that. He's in a hurry, but it's Cookie! Hey y'all, welcome aboard, it's Cookie. We're gonna have a great cruise because I have family here with me as well, and they're from Texas, so oh, what more awesome. did you ask for, right? Yeah. I love it. I'll see y'all today for sure. Thank have a good one. You. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Picture taken. There is the funnel right up there. Here's Putt Putt. And here is Galveston. That's the port of Galveston. This is Terminal 2. Terminal 1's to the left. Now we're going to go to the front of the ship so we can take a peek at Carnival Vista. There she is. Hello, Vista. We have some friends on that ship. Life on the Edge. I will leave them linked down in the description box. Oh, she's beautiful. There's not much to do on embarkation day as most of the cabins are closed and that kind of thing. A lot of stuff is closed down. Basically, there's food, um, getting your muster station, getting there, getting muster done, and exploring a little bit, getting to know the ship. But it is warm here in Texas. Cabins will be ready in about an hour and we're gonna get in our cabin, get everything all hooked up on the internet. We uh, have the premium internet plan and uh, get all the social media stuff taken care of, get all the postings done, and then we will be going live from the ship. I will post that up in the top uh, left-hand corner for me, or right-hand corner for you, of the screen and down in the description box. So if you missed that, you can watch it back now. I know I said we were going inside, but here's the aft pool. Just really quick peek. Here we go. Not busy at all. Okay, so we are gonna go inside where it's nice and cool. Mask up in the elevator. That's right, gotta wear the mask in the elevator. Heading to deck five to the promenade, yep. which is pretty common amongst carnival ships. They call it the promenade, except for the Mardi Gras. They call it Grand Central. Yes. So we are headed down to promenade to see what we can see. And there is a Cachino de Capitano, Del Capitano on this ship. And there was Pasta Bella here at lunch today. It is the Limelight Lounge. We are on deck five. Piano bar should be to the left. Yep. And there is the steakhouse. It's for an additional charge. Let's take a peek in Limelight while there is nobody in here. This is a great size comedy lounge. This is a good size comedy lounge. Still a little small, but it's a good size. You can fit a number of people here. I happen to feel that comedy is one of the most favorite activities or forms of entertainment on the ship. So I really feel like carnivals should expand their comedy lounges. And here's Red Frog. And then there is um, Bonsai Sushi, and we'll keep going that direction. We're gonna zip in here real quick. All right, we're gonna grab a drink. Be right back. You guys, we came in here and I have been meaning to pick up the funnel. It's a drink, but it's a it's in the funnel cup. Every time we've been on a Houston ship, I forget to get it. And they didn't have it here and I asked him where it was and I he told me it's up at the pool deck. Do you know what? He went and got it for me. Seriously, there is nothing like the crew on a carnival ship. I have said that countless times. So, I'm going to make sure to thank him. I'm gonna make sure to report in my survey at the end of the cruise how fabulous he is. And I'm gonna take a picture of his name tag so I don't forget. And I'm gonna put him in the vlog too, if you'll let me. <laughs> there he is, there's the man. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Thank you. He's so sweet. There she is, yummy, yummy. There is a Diet Pepsi in her, delicious. It was $16.50 total. Here is Ocean Plaza. A little smaller than on the breeze, but not too much smaller. There's a bar over there. Oh, that's the alchemy bar over there. Yes, it is the opposite. So the stage is on the other side. Here's Pixels. All right, we are going to zip through the casino while it is closed. There's the casino bar, which they removed on Vista. So. It's just a fairly large casino. We will 
probably drop, drop a couple 20s in here. Anybody know what my favorite game is? Mm. I don't know why it's my favorite game. I never win. All right. And then here is the atrium. Okay, we are back in the cabin. That was a very long live stream. It was very hot up there on the deck. Here we are. Look how close we are to the water, you guys. This is crazy. Yes, we are in a cove balcony. Oh, look. Wow, we're never this close. You know what? You don't realize how far up deck six is until you're down on deck two. The pelicans out there. Understand this, there is somebody in a hospital bed right now wishing they could trade places with you to be here on this cruise right now. Understand this, not everyone made it to 2021 with us. So I'm going to like this. I hope you left every bit of stress and worry outside that door because you're too blessed to be stressed, too annoyed to be disappointed, and too grateful to be hateful. My name is Cookie, all the way from my girl, Alabama. I love you. I can't wait to be with you. It's time. Take a look After the fun of no, what show was that? The welcome, welcome aboard. aboard show. We have a little bumper dog. He's so cute. Now we are going to grab a drink out of our little mini fridge, and we are going to go up and have a pizza because I gotta try the gluten-free pizza on this ship. All right, here we are. Now that's regular pizza right there. Cheese. I just ordered a gluten-free pepperoni, and Robert ordered a pepperoni. But you can see this one is wide open, so. I'm actually gonna stand back a little bit because there is flour over there flying. So, but uh, he is going to make a gluten-free pizza for me. Here's my pizza. It looks really tasty. All right, so I'm gonna dive in. <laughs> 9.30. 9.30. 930. We're exhausted. Yeah. The heat today um, for the live was a lot. It was a lot to take. And I think it just exhausted us. And running the stairs and work was hard this week so yes was work just was kinda... very hard this week so um so we're just gonna take it easy kind of yes. get back in the cabin have no mask on yeah relax yeah wash off all the makeup put on the leggings and the hoodie and settle down and watch some youtube, watch some YouTube and relax <laughs> for a little bit yeah. i know i know you're thinking you're on a cruise how could you do that well <laughs> easily we tie it <laughs> and we're not so young. <laughs> and the sun was hot. <laughs> but tomorrow, tomorrow is a sea day. And then we have Progresso. And we'll, she'll be up at four in the morning. I so. will. I will be up at four in the morning for coffee. And if you want to have 
four in the morning coffee with me. That's in the sneak peek. All right, you guys, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so very much. And if you came from the live or any of the lives, thank you so much. And we will see you tomorrow. Yep. Good night. Good night. It's been a long, hard season. I'm feeling weary to my bones. I guess that's my reason. I pack my bags and